I'm Craig Smith. Sex trafficking victims trying to leave that world often find it will not leave them. They almost always have a criminal record that keeps them from building new and better lives. My name is Rachel and I was sex trafficked for about six years. None of the women you will meet here feel comfortable showing their faces or using their real names. They are at the Gospel Rescue Mission working to build new lives, but their old lives keep holding them back. Rachel has a record of drug charges and is fighting to beat her addictions. It's hard to explain that to people that I meet or if I'm trying to look for a job. And um, there's also a gap of six or seven years of no work history that I can't really explain. My name's Tiffany and I've been involved with sex trafficking um, a number of times in my life. Over about how many years would you say? Um, mainly from the age of 13 to 15 and in my early 20s. The criminal record most trafficking victims acquire can ruin their chances for an honest job. I've developed um, seven felony convictions on my record and I've been to prison multiple times and I have only worked maybe three years out of my whole life. I try not to share it too much but um, I have a really big fear of judgment and I usually run from situations. This is the first time I've actually been able to um, try and follow through with doing something different in my life. Sometimes in jail, the women learn about Gospel Rescue Mission. It offers a safe, structured environment to help them build a future far better than their past. So the classes that we offer, like the Healthy Relationship Boundaries class, um, can help them succeed, help them reach sort of an inner peace to help them succeed. We also class, we also offer uh, helping people get a GED, teaching them job search skills, learning how to write a resume, learning how to do an interview, to build their confidence up so they can get back into the world. And in a job market where so many people apply by computer, a criminal record carries even more weight. On black and white, I look horrible, but if you were to meet me in person, I'm a good person. And so it's, um, it's just that struggle of getting past um, people looking at an application online or something and looking up your name and what it could show anywhere, but if they were to meet me, it'd be a totally different thing. Both Tiffany and Rachel say they want to find work helping others make the escape they are working to accomplish right now. Now that I've survived it and have made a way out of it, I just want to help other people going through it and show them that there is hope for a different life. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.